The development of the idea for a missile fired from a submarine started soon after the Second World War, however. Some doubters believed it was impossible engineers concentrated on compressed air power rather than underwater propulsion. This shield is, therefore, the secret. It avoids the overflow of water into the missile tube. The seal is broken when the submarine opens the hatch just before launch. A valve at the bottom of the tube opens, allowing a burst of pressurized air to enter it before any water can enter. At about 40 miles per hour, this air pushes the missile out of the tube. Once in the air, its engines can ignite thanks to enough momentum to cut through almost 40 meters of water. The new era of ballistic missile submarines started on July 20, 1960, when the Polaris test missile was successfully launched from the USS George Washington SSBN 598 submarine. The Polaris A-1 could travel 1,400 nautical miles with a single 600 kiloton payload. Today, the Triton 2D-5 missile can travel 6,500 nautical miles and carry 8 to 14 warheads.